I'm seeing eighteen year old girls get the fucking lips done and the mums yeah. letting them. Yeah. Are you on it, mate? Yeah. And, and yeah, that's yeah. not the way to fucking be, lad. That's because scary. you see them thirteen year old kids down there. By the time they're fifteen, they want fucking lips like a fish. That's the generation thing again, isn't it? Right, exactly. And you see all these girls that are in the pursuit of beauty. Mm. And they're pursuing this. They don't like the nose. I want a nose job. They don't, I want my lips done. I want Botox here. I'm too fat here. I want all this done and all this. Get a fucking grip and love yourself. Embrace who you are. Embrace everything about you. Don't start changing your nose because you think it's a little bent because that bird over there has made a shit comment on your nose. Find your security from within. And once you've got your security within your body, the security will come from outside. Internal attracts external it's as simple as that so if you if you start working on yourself like he always say and he always promote inner wealth creates external wealth it is what it is concentrate on the life form don't fuck yourself up when you're 18 with some lips that are gonna look like deflated dinghies when you're 40 I can't help but think again when I think about the young people and I think about your message and you know I've got young kids I'm trying my best to steer them into and you said something there, strip it back to basics. We're trying to do that. You know, I'm really aware of everything you've just said. I've got a stepdaughter who's 20 years old, who's got friends who are 17, 18, who are pretty young girls, having their lips done, having this done, started a ball rolling that's crazy. Then you've got those 13 year olds looking at them. You know, I'm really aware of that happening around us. And we're just trying really hard to just offer tangible, tactile, real just simple experiences to the kids, an environment like that for the kids. When I think about what you're saying, you know, I think, like I said earlier about the 14 year old kid who's just going to go on the county lines because he's got no love and he's been bashed around the kitchen and he's just fucking lonely and fucked. I think about the kids on the social media, these girls who are probably from affluent families and, you know, maybe they are just desperate to look like the LA girls or whatever, you know, and, by the way, most of these fucking perfect looking girls are miserable as fuck, you know, aren't they? Yeah. They're fucking down, they've got issues, they've got they're all depressed, shit. they're all this, they're all that, there's all complexes going on, there's all insecurities going on. How do we get kids, if, Darren? How do we, you know how you get them? How do we get them to get off of that though and stop measuring themselves look, against look, that? Some kids are lucky to have parents. Mm. Some kids are lucky to have parents who've got addictions. You're on a, do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Some kids just haven't got parents. Yeah. And the parents they did have abused them physically and mentally. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. The bottom line is this. If you've got kids and you're not protecting them the way you should be, it's your own fault. If I'm sitting here and raising them issues about the way you're treating your kids, don't hate on me for it. Appreciate it. If I'm calling you a fucking raffer dealing drugs to that smackhead while your kid's sat in the passenger seat, appreciate why I'm saying it. Don't say I'm just hating on drug dealers. I'm thinking about your future for your child. What the fuck is your child going to be doing at 15 if he's watching his dad sell drugs to smackheads? He's going to be selling drugs to smackheads. If not, taking them like the smackheads. Hmm. And probably with his foot a bit further down on the pedal. It's same, a little it's, bit harsher. It's the same with girls. Mm. And you've got the loads of these girls, the lovely girls, they've been coughed for by a drug dealer. He's got them, he's got her pregnant, he's fucked her off. This single mum hates men because this drug dealing rat has fucking battered her, destroyed her, and left her in the lurch with fuck all. She's growing up hating on men mm. with her little daughter on her hip. 